Hello and welcome dear students. Today we are going to discuss a very important concept that is micro teaching. The objectives of today's lecture will be origin, nature and characteristics of micro teaching. Phases of micro teaching, steps of micro teaching and micro teaching as teacher behavior modification technique. First, we will discuss micro teaching. An idea of training teachers with the help of technique of micro teaching was developed in Stanford University, USC in 1963 by D. W. Allen and his co-workers and is now followed in many countries with modified and improved techniques. Micro teaching is considered not only constructive teachers training but also a versatile research tool which dramatically simplifies the logistics of investigating certain teaching skills and learning variables. By micro teaching, teachers are taught teaching skills in such a manner that the application of these skills in teaching not only becomes the habit of the teacher, but it also becomes the part of his character. Thus, when a student teacher is being trained through the technique of micro teaching, he does not have to face the problems of classroom teaching arising out of lack of mastery or the content and hence no confidence in oneself. Lack of knowledge of educational psychology. Lack of rapport between the teacher and the student. This fact enables the teacher to concentrate on one skill of teaching at a time. In micro teaching, a pupil teacher teaches a single unit of lesson for 5 to 10 minutes to a small group of students compressed of 5 to 10 students and manifests only one teaching skill repeatedly during his teaching. When a student teacher gives a lesson through the technique of micro teaching, the supervisor evaluates his lesson concentrating on one skill qualitatively and precisely and makes the student teacher conscious of the merits and demerits of the work. After the teaching is over, teacher trainees tell the pupil teacher at which point did he commit mistakes, how many times and to what extent of accuracy and effectiveness he used a particular skill, and how can he improve his teaching by the effective use of skill. The supervisor may give the feedback to the student teacher with the help of video or audio tape recordings. The peer group may also provide feedback to their co-students. Now definitions of micro teaching. Various research workers and writers have defined micro teaching in number of ways. D. W. Allen 1966 Micro teaching is a system of controlled practices that makes it possible to concentrate on specific teaching behavior and to practice teaching under controlled conditions. Clift 1976 Micro teaching is teacher training procedure which reduces the teaching situation in simpler and more controlled encounter achieved by limiting the practice teaching to a specific skill and reducing teaching time and class size. MacLeese and Unwin 1970. The term micro teaching is most often applied to the use of closed circuit television to give immediate feedback to trainee teachers performance in a simplified environment. B. K. Pasi and M. S. Lalita 1976 
micro teaching is a teaching technique which requires student teachers to teach a single concept using specified teaching skill to a small number of pupils in short duration of time. Now, characteristics of micro teaching. Micro teaching is training technique and not a teaching technique. It is a technique that is used for the training of teachers to make them learn the art of teaching. It is not a method of classroom instruction. Micro teaching provides teachers with a practice for teaching in which the normal complexities of the real teaching are reduce it in terms of length of the lesson, a simple and single concept is chosen. Number of students usually 5 to 10, preferably peers. Class time usually 5 to 10 minutes, single skill at a time. Videotape facility is also provided in order to give proper feedback to the pupil teacher. With the help of videotaping, the pupil teacher can observe his activities himself and after receiving criticism from his classmates and his teacher trainer, he can modify his behavior. A micro teaching laboratory appears to possess all the inherent features of the real classroom. Teaching is composed of very specific skills. Micro teaching provides opportunity to select one skill at a time and practices through its scale down encounter and then take others in a similar way. Now, phases of micro teaching. According to J.C. Clift, the elements which normally got to make up the micro teaching procedure may be grouped under three phases knowledge acquisition phase, skill acquisition phase, and transfer phase. In the knowledge acquisition phase, the student teacher understands the various skills and its components. He also understands how these components are going to bring about the required changes in the teaching behavior. The knowledge of the rationale behind the skill and its role in the classroom plays an important role. Reading relevant literature, observing the classroom demonstration of fellow student teachers, analyzing the use of components in the unit helps in the knowledge acquisition phase. In the skill acquisition phase, the teacher trainee selects a unit and plans it according to the components of the skill. He then demonstrates the unit and gets a feedback and then he replans the same unit and reteaches it till he acquires the level of mastery. In the transfer phase, the skills with their components after mastering are integrated and transferred to real classroom situation teaching. This transition takes place easily and the skills practiced during the micro teaching sessions are transferred smoothly to regular teaching. Now, some important steps of micro teaching. The standard procedure of micro teaching conducted in a teacher training course may involve these steps. Orientation. In orientation, the people teachers are given necessary theoretical background about micro teaching by having a free and fair discussion of aspects like those given here. Concept of micro teaching significance of micro teaching, requirements and setting for adopting micro teaching technique, then discussion of teaching skills. Under this step, 
the understanding about aspects is to be developed or analysis of teaching into components teaching skills role of these skills in teaching discussion about the component teaching behaviors comprising various teaching skills next is defining the particular skill a particular skill is defined to student teachers in terms of specific teaching behaviors and the objectives which such behaviors aim at achieving then presentation of a model demonstration lesson the teacher educator can be given a demonstration lesson where the particular skill is employed this also termed modeling that is demonstration of the desired behaviors relating to a skill for imitation by the observers video tape or a film based on the use of specific skill if available can also be shown or the teacher educator can at least present a prepared episode so as to serve as a model for the trainees observation of the model lesson in a demonstration given by people teachers or expected to note down their observations an observation schedule especially designed for the observation of the specific skill is distributed among the trainees and they are also trained in its use beforehand then preparation of micro lesson plan the people teacher then prepares a lesson plan based on the pre decided model on a suitable topic relating to the particular skills which he proposes to practice more than the subject matter the technique of maximizing the use of behavioral components involved in that skill is considered important in micro teaching this is called the plan session then creation of micro teaching setting under this step consideration is made for creating proper conditions for the practice of teaching skill in the indian model of micro teaching developed setting for a micro class is number of pupils 5 to 10 type of pupils real pupils or preferably peers type of supervisor teacher educator and peers time duration of a micro lesson 6 minutes time duration of a micro teaching cycle 36 minutes this duration is divided as practice of the skill the people teacher teaches the lesson to a small group of pupils preferably a peer group in a simulated condition it is supervised by the teacher educator and peers both with the help of appropriate observation schedule the lesson may be videotaped if facilities exist then feedback for the purpose of giving feedback to the people teacher either video recording is done or his classmates note down the critical comments on observation schedule on the basis of their observation these critical comments are analyzed after the teaching is over and feedback or suggestions are given to people teachers on the basis of these points replan session in the light of the feedback and supervisors comments the student teacher replans or restructures the same lesson or a different lesson in order to use the skill more effectively reteach session 
the revised lesson is retaught to a different but comparable group of pupils re feedback session on the basis of performance in the retaught micro lesson the student teacher is provided re feedback in the way outlined earlier repetition of the cycle the plan teach feedback replan reteach re feedback sessions will constitute a single micro teaching cycle this cycle may be repeated till educate level of skill acquisition takes place then integration of teaching skills this last step is concerned with that task of integrating various teaching skills individually mastered by the pupil teacher this helps in bridging a gap between training in isolated teaching skills and the real teaching skills and the real teaching situation faced by a pupil teacher now advantages of micro teaching the global concept of teaching is replaced by the analytical concept in micro teaching approach here complex task is looked upon as a set of simpler skills comprising specific classroom behaviors this helps in the proper understanding of the meaning and concept of the term teaching there is no problem of discipline in micro teaching due to controlled atmosphere and small size of the class people teacher gets feedback immediately after the teaching is over micro teaching helps in systematic and objective observation by providing specific observation schedule micro teaching works as a laboratory exercise to focus training on the acquisition of teaching skills and instructional techniques here a trainee can experiment with several alternatives in limited time and resources this is a successful method for individualized training and thus individual weakness of teacher can be found out micro teaching provides economy in mastering the teaching skills it saves energy of the pupil teacher as well as the pupils this type of teaching can also be used for research purposes and new teaching strategies and techniques can be developed with this we come to end of today's program hope you have enjoyed and understood it well thank you for watching